Arcadiana is Ali Bear. Okay, here we go. It's all about pies this morning. I already heard the words boudin pepper jack. Okay, that's well. Glad you're listening. This I is listen. Exciting. Well, it's, it's it's I check in, check out. Just ask anybody at home. Isn't that called like selective mm-hmm. hearing? I okay. believe is what you it said is. it, not me. Storm. I was going to say storm track. Ali Bear. He is live with Corey Champagne. Good morning, guys. Actually, Alex, I, I'm a pie tracker. Uh, no, so it works. Adam tracks the storms. I track the pies with the help of Corey Champagne. Acadian Slice, soon to be Magnolia Pantry. Yes. And Corey, uh, this smells so great. Tell us what we have here. So we do sweet and savory mm-hmm. pies. So mm-hmm. we do full size nine inch pies like that you can slice up. I think we'll have some of those later. But we also do these hand pies like turnover style meat pies. Mm-hmm. So we do traditional ones like a ground beef, like mm-hmm. Natchitoches style meat pie. But these have boudin pepper jack in it. Another one is like a breakfast pie. We call it the wakey wakey. It's on dewy egg and cheddar. Also Whoa. have pizza pies, kind of like a fancy hot pocket. I love yeah. that. I love andouille with yes. everything, and I'm a big fan of andouille and eggs. So before we try this, I want, to, I want to share Corey's story. He's got a great story. You've been doing this eight years. Something like that, yeah. How did this whole thing start? Because you got a real passion for pies. Yeah, so I was a paramedic. I worked for Acadian Ambulance for almost 10 years mm-hmm. and uh, just needed, needed a change. Mm-hmm. And so just started baking in my spare time and then kind of with the big push for my wife who was encouraging me to do it more had more confidence in me than I did got me to the farmers market sold out on the first day and it's kind of just been rolling through it ever since we started doing some of the larger festivals and events in town catering moved into a commercial kitchen so just kind of grew it small and organically you know and now we're ready to take the brick and mortar retail jump so had you always kind of had a passion for pies? No. <laughs> no? Way, I always kind of did things on a project basis. So I would learn to can and preserve fruit or pickle vegetables or different things like that. And one time I just wanted to learn how to make a good pie crust and did it and just started filling these little hand pies with things and bringing them to family parties and events. And they were just a huge hit. So when I decided to go to the farmer's market, I figured that what better than than pie to bring wow. to everybody. Now, what I like about ham pies is they're really convenient to eat. It's easy to eat. Yes. Uh, if you put cheese in it, the, it usually doesn't drip. Yeah, you that know? one of the hardest things is trying to find that balance right. of ingredients in the hand pie so it doesn't get soggy and the crust, because we use like a French style pastry crust. Mm-hmm. And so we don't want that to kind of deflate or get mushy. And so, yeah, so trying to find a balance between cheese and meat right. and other ingredients to keep it full but not busting open and, and soggy. And because the cheese is kind of like, I guess for lack of a better word, the glue that kind of holds everything does. together in it's there. It so does. As it cools a little bit, it kind of keeps everything in there. Because yeah. what I like is if I'm operating a front-end loader, which I love to do, it's kind of, of a hobby, I like to be able to have a pie and work the front-end loader. That's my prime you know? demographic is front-end loader operator. There you yes. go. I like that. And Bobcats. <laughs> uh, so you know what? We are going to go back to the desk. And we're going to be here with Corey all morning. We're going to try these pies in just a bit. Corey, do you find that you're only invited to events because they know you're going to bring a pie? Yes, it's always requested. Oh, <laughs> man. Well, that's not why we invited you here, okay? But, Corey, there's an invitation I, in I my feel honored. House Thank you. Yeah. We're shocked you brought pies. We're happy to have you, and uh, we can't wait to circle back, guys. We'll see you in a bit.